As we continue our focus on the first district congressional race this week, tonight we're taking a look at another major issue for voters, the economy. We have been dealing with some of the highest inflation we've seen in decades, combined with skyrocketing prices. I asked Democrat Congressman Don Davis and his challenger, Republican Lori Buckout, why the economy has been in the shape it has been and what they would do about it. As Americans have endured painfully high inflation and prices, First District Republican congressional candidate Lori Buckout says there's one big thing that can help. Drive down the price of energy, that's definitely going to hit the price of everything else because energy costs drive costs of almost everything else we consume. And she believes the failure to become energy independent has been a big factor in the economic challenges over the past several years. You know, we lost that. Uh, we had it about four years ago. Gas prices are good. Uh, now we have decided to stop exporting liquid natural gas, which was a jobs builder and economy builder. Um, uh, we're also not exploiting some of the drilling licenses that we should be. And we're actually buying gas in a roundabout way from people who hate us, like Iran and Venezuela. Some say the Inflation Reduction Act was actually a big contributing factor to inflation. Democrat Congressman Don Davis says the legislation meant that they were able to get resources out into communities and businesses. The more that we can do to show support for, in particular, small businesses, that's the very lifeline and heartbeat of rural America, and especially eastern North Carolina. Um, so, you know, I'll put it this way, um, we're going to continue to stay in the fight, you know, for small businesses and to do things that make sense. Davis says that means building more in America, which he says can lessen the blow from economic downturns by becoming more independent. He also says he wants to focus on farmers. I'm hearing so much now, many are having to consider taking out loan, um, going further into debt um, just to continue to operate, or facing the decision, do they just close it down? Uh, we have to get to a good bipartisan farm bill we have to address this increasing cost of labor. Um, there are many issues here, but we have to shore up agriculture as it's our leading industry. For Buckout, helping farmers and driving down costs for everyone gets back to the issue of energy. If you talk to farmers, their prices have gone up exponentially in terms to bring in a crop. So of course, at the end of the day, they're making almost no money. If you spend less money to bring in a crop, you're able to offer that crop at a better price. Um, and, you, and you transport issues. You know, you, you, you transport food, you transport raw materials. Um, people have to drive to work. While North Carolina has received top rankings as a state to do business, that isn't necessarily the case here in the East. Buckout believes her presence in Washington, D.C. can change that. It's a beautiful district. So it's a wonderful place to start jobs. And we need to have folks who are advocating for us on the Hill to bring jobs to this district, to bring business to this district, uh, to bring folks who want to get to work here, because they do. Davis says in addition to his focus on agriculture, he says the Eastern Carolina economy hinges on our military installations and available jobs that pump money back into Eastern Carolina. Since we're already sending 1,100 North Carolinians across the state line into Newport News, to the shipyard. These are good paying jobs. Um, so we're currently looking at ways to expand that. Bringing down costs, addressing inflation, and helping our economy thrive are all issues voters want their representative to find answers to.